This is a how-to on uh, removing the uh, clutch end of the drive system on a uh, Honda Elite 110, also known as the Elite Lead 110 or the NHX 110. This is a 19mm uh, uh, nut. So I'm using an impact driver, uh, cordless, nice and easy to use. So there is a uh, nut and a washer in the clutch bell. Usually this thing is a little dusty. All I do is I just face it down and tap it on the floor a few times to get that dust out, and that's good enough. And this is the uh, clutch itself. Slide this whole piece off here. And you see the belt on here already. If you need to replace the belt, you know, take the old one off, put a new one back on. Uh, when you put a new one back on, the clutch here doesn't have much space for the belt to get all the way in. What you have to do is you have to actually squeeze, squeeze this open or squeeze it apart so that you give, uh, let the belt sit further in inside the clutch. And the reason why you do this, it helps to install the, uh, the variator later on. You're, you're basically, when you do that, you're basically giving the, the belt more slack so that you could, uh, install the variator easily. So give it some slack, uh, put half the belt in there, slide it back in. Put the clutch back on here. Washer and nut. This is a 19 millimeter nut. Uh, this nut here needs to be at about 40 foot pounds. Uh, coincidentally, my uh, impact wrench, when set on medium setting, is about 40 uh, foot pounds. Sometimes you need to uh, hold the wheel still so it doesn't spin, uh, spin the whole thing. That should be good. And that's it. That's how you take off the uh, clutch side uh, of the drive and reinstall the clutch side of the drive.